and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Esper Flyers. We got our third donation deck of the day. Haven't had the most success so far, but I'm liking what we have going on here, and I think we'll be doing pretty good with this deck. You may remember us playing this deck a couple of weeks ago, um, and uh, and it was actually pretty successful. I think we had like a four or five win league, something like that, and I was pretty impressed with the Bloodthirsty Aerialist uh, here in the shell, even though like we're not like super focused on life gain, but it just being a, a pretty solid flyer for us. But even more so, I actually really liked the Empyrean Eagle um, as well, pumping up all of our other flying creatures, including like the extra spirits that we got from like Seraph of the Scales and Bishop of Wings whenever our angels are dying. So this is a pretty fun deck to play before, and so we're going to be trying out again. New additions, uh, we had Gideons in there before, but the Gideons are getting replaced by, Tef by Teferi Time Ravelers because of all the flash decks running around and everything. So we'll have the Teferis that also can give us a little bit of uh, interaction with the bounce part and spectral sailor we didn't we weren't playing spectral sailor before um so uh, I, I like spectral sailor it's a really cheap flyer you know we can pump it up with the empyrean eagle it gives us some card advantage also i think it's a nice little add here so i like playing just a couple spectral sailors i think that's a really good uh thing to be doing so basically, overall, you know, like we're just going to be trying to hold down the ground with Bishop of Wings and interaction with Thought, Thought Razor's Tyrant Scorns, and then taking over with our big angels. I think, like last time, what 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 uh, the last time we five owed might have five owed with this thing. Um, I was really impressed with Thought Erasure to go along with like these angels because like these angels are usually like pretty strong, but the like the opponent has like whatever removal spell for them, then that's that's you know pretty difficult for you but like they're they're usually like good against other creatures it's just like the removal spell but if you can thought erasure away that removal spell and then land these angels uh, it helps out a whole lot so really liked thought erasure uh, last time um but there we go let's let's go ahead and get started we're going to change our avatar so could have done that from before let's go with kaya i'm gonna make you suffer this is a good kaya deck Get some Esper Flyers. Okay, yeah, we went 5-0 last time with the deck. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good one. That's right, yeah. We went 5-0. No, I remember that now. Yeah, Orzhov Sacrifice. I am really hyped to play that one again, too. Last time we played Orzhov Sacrifice, we had so much fun. I made, made a few changes to it. Um, but yeah, really excited to play that one. What card am I going to miss the most after rotation? I'm going to miss... Maybe... Probably like just the, ang the angel package. Resplendent. Lyra. Shalai. I've, I've played those cards so much in so many different decks. I'm going to miss those cards. They're just good, fair magic cards. And I like them a lot. Chupacabra is a good one. Yeah, that, that was a cool card. Um, yeah, Land of War Elves obviously is like the... That's a just a great card that's rotating. That card is... That's going to change standard a lot. And it'll be interesting to see. Um, you know, like basically like the whole time that Arena's been around, we've had... We've had Land of War Elf for the green decks. And it's going to... It's going to really slow down green decks a lot. It'll be interesting to, to see how much impact it actually has. Alright, this looks like a... This looks like just like an intro deck. Probably a beginning player. Yeah, 
Yeah, I agree. Well, we saw the explore package so much, and you know, we just kind of had the explore package. Um, yeah, like everybody was kind of sick of it, but I I kind of liked the the explore mechanic. I thought it was a pretty cool mechanic and everything. Oh, they were they were pretty well designed cards and stuff. It was just Wild Growth Walker wasn't necessarily the best design, but I think. I think the actual explore stuff was pretty good. I think Jade Light was a a fair, you know, it was a pretty fair design. You know, like they were trying to get a, a pushed rare and everything. I think it was, I don't think it was like too powerful or anything. Same with like Branch Walker and Seeker Squire and the rest. Wild Growth Walker was a, you know, a little different, but the explore stuff was pretty cool. Boreal Grazer is just a lot different kind of card than Land War Elf. Like, Land War Elf means you can play less lands than what you'd normally really need. Where a Boreal Grazer, you need to play more lands than what you would usually need to be able to take advantage of it. You need you need to be playing a absolute ton of lands for a Boreal Grazer. You know, you can't really play a Boreal Grazer in a low land count deck, because otherwise it's just not going to be doing very much hey Chad we were actually just talking about that earlier uh, somebody actually asked that same question of like what was my favorite what's my favorite animation on arena and we actually went through a whole bunch of good ones um, but yeah Tezzeret's claw ability Ravager worm um, Kalia and Niv Mizzet have similar very good animations Yeah, Bone Dragon's a good one. There's another question. So whenever this thing attacks, it deals one damage. Not gonna not gonna attack with the aerialist yet. They have the thing that destroys a tapped creature. I can wait until they, they play that and then I tyrant scorn and pick my bloodthirsty aerialist back up. Kind of thing. I should have just thought erasure away this aerial assault. Yeah, I probably should just do that.
Seal away. I'm just being so patient because we can just get rid of these removal spells. It's a sorcery. Alright, maybe I'm not going to be more patient. I'm kind of tired of being patient. Fine, we'll let them we'll let them kill one of our things. I should have been more patient. Both of our things are dead now. How much does this thing cost to equip? One? One's not very much. This has been a really weird game. All right, now we're starting to pull ahead. We got the Seraph. Finish this one out. Yeah, we don't have to worry about the heart pierce piercer, heart piercer bows. Because of Shalai, they also just draw a bunch of lands in a row. All right, let's move on. Match number two. Aramancy puts a little sizzle in my step. Ugh. Still have trauma from Nijitsu. <laughs> hmm. I didn't play with Ninjutsu in Standard. I wasn't playing Standard at the time. I started Standard after that. Um, so I played Ninjutsu in Modern, and it was just never never quite good enough for Modern. It was pretty good in Popper. Uh, but so I don't have... I don't have Ninjutsu... Horrors. All right, as per control. So usually, what the the flying decks usually struggle against control. So having like thought erasure, as we saw there, thought erasure is really nice because yeah, getting rid of this Ascanta. They have Ascanta, they're just gonna outgrind us. So that was a big time thought erasure for us. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. That's more like it.
All right, respond to the angel back. I'll protect you. Hmm. Double Narset to Spark? Wow. They have drawn well. Why just gets disparked? Guess I'm going to play a Bishop of Wings to pressure Narset. No, I am not making this up as I go. I was feeling pretty good about this when they just had the Narset and Bell Hunt. And a bunch of lands, but they draw pretty well. Keep an open mind. Enough. Right on schedule. Hmm. I don't actually draw a card. Trust me, I have a plan. So if I, I play Shalai, they just spark it. This, you know, playing the Teferi here shuts off their Dovin's veto. I've got it. I have just the trick for this. This is rough. We're just pretty dead. This is definitely the matchup where this would have been get better if this was Gideon. Then little Teferi, how we replaced those. Gideon would have been crushing for us and killing these things. Hmm. Don't worry, I got this. Don't make another move. This might be a bad idea. Yeah, I didn't know they were rotating the sleeves either. I don't. Why didn't they announce that at all? That's weird that they just didn't announce it. But I guess the so like the guild like the guild bundles are just no longer there. Darn. I was hoping they were going to be playing Teferi here and not Bell Hunt because they could only play one or the other. Goes 
nothing. I won't hide from the world any longer. We need to move quickly. Hey, that spirit should be a card style spirit because we have the card style Bishop of Wings. I guess it'll probably come out because I know I know the Resplendent Angel does. I guess they just don't show it right there. No more games. Oh, I need to attack with Bishop of Wings. I should have attacked with Bishop of Wings. That's more like it. I suppose that's how it was meant to have a use. Then that would have been the fifth life. So yeah, I was sorry. Yeah, I was debating like a lot of different lines to do there. So another line that I was thinking about doing was killing Narset with Soren's tick up to unlock, so I could draw an extra card, and then I'd be able to use this to ferry to minus bounce the bell haunt draw a card. But that's not a very good line for a couple of reasons. the The problem there is like that extra card that I draw is going to get discarded from the bell haunt coming back in, and then my Teferi is dead. So then their uh, Dovin's veto is turned on. I mean, Command the Dreadhorde. That card's unbeatable. Oh, they just have Elder Spell, too. It's another unbeatable card. Alright, so we're going to need our own Command the Dreadhordes. Maybe Ego here. Get these Grasp, Duress. I mean, Veto is fine... If we have it early, obviously, if they have <clears throat> maybe Mortify. If they have Little Teferi, we don't get to Veto. We don't want Bishop of Wings. That card's out of here. Maybe not Mortify. Nah, not, mo not Mortify. I don't want these Tyrant Scorns. I'm kind of feeling like Ego for... For Big Teferi and for Command the Dread Horde. Let's get rid of the Time Ravelers. I don't want that card. So I'm cutting two of, either cut the egos or cut like two of these flyers, you know, like some shalais. Yeah, the, the eagles aren't necessarily great either. And eagles dido the kayas really easily. All right, let's take out. We'll take out the two eagles. We 
We already have enough other three toughness flyers. Three mana, three toughness. Wait, what? How is this in my deck? And how is this in my deck? What is going on? These cards should not be in my deck. I took them out. Am I going crazy? Didn't I take them out? You hit time, didn't click submit? I'm, I wasn't close to hitting time. I don't think. I guess I, I ran out of time? I didn't, I didn't think I was close. I didn't think I was running out of time. This is frustrating. I guess I ran out of time. I just have two cards, like, two cards I really don't want in my deck. In my hand here. Hey, what's up, 508? It's going good. Oh my gosh, that card's horrible too. Well, that's really frustrating. Not only did we not sideboard, but then all we're doing is just drawing all of the cards that are... I know. <laughs> We're just drawing all of the worst cards in this matchup Nothing. again. <laughs> These are like the cards that we had last game. Were Tyrant Scorns, Bishop of Wings, Teferi. These are the cards I immediately took out. And that's all we're drawing now. Talk about frustrating. This might be a bad idea. I don't know if anybody if if anybody go, goes back and watches it. Let me know if it looks like defeat. we ran out of time. Yeah, still had time. Yeah, didn't I click done? I clicked done with nine seconds left. I did. I clicked done with nine seconds left. And that just gives me the wrong deck. Yeah, I don't know if this was a bug from the update. I don't know. <laughs> your turn two, your opponent played scheming symmetry and then vicious rumors. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty sweet. That's a that's a pretty sweet combo. So vicious rumors is one black says target opponent discards a card, and then also puts the top card of their library into their graveyard. Man, now I want to put those two together in a deck. You lost to it, yeah, because you you go and put like whatever sweet card, put it on top of your library, and then they're like, nah, mill it. That's a that's a pretty sweet combo. <laughs> or I'd, I'd be very surprised if we defeat Azkanta with this these crappy one ones that I'm playing.
Oh yeah, I bet symmetry is awesome with archive trap. Absolutely. My favorite Planeswalker... I think my favorite Planeswalker is Vivian, I would say. Vivian's awesome. Yeah, I'd probably say Vivian. Head. So many of the cards I wanted to board out. Just ended up with all of them. Life would have definitely been better if those these tyrant scorns. You know, we, we drew three tyrant scorns, two bishop of wings. But those things were instead the duresses and Dovin's vetoes. That I was putting in. I was taking those out. Well, our first loss with the Esper Flyer deck came because we couldn't sideboard. But also Little Teferi was was a huge, huge um, downgrade from Gideon that we had before. But that's it's kind of just that matchup, though. Like that's that's the matchup for Gideon. But that was also that's also just a matchup that's that we're gonna struggle with anyway, because we're playing all these Bishop of Wings and stuff. Hmm. So I don't really need Bishop of Wings on turn two. Yeah, I don't know. They're playing mono black stuff. So you can search their library for a black card with CMC one or less. Knight of the Ebon Legion. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good point. Like we're we're usually pretty good against aggro, so maybe just not playing the Teferis and playing the Gideons again is worth it. So of course if I if I kill the knight they just get to put it back into play so I'm just gonna bounce it put it back in their hand so they don't get to attack with it and trigger ruin raider
yeah, Fuller lands are in the game now, or like the the card, the basic lands with card styles. I think they were twenty five hundred gems for the package of five, I believe. I don't quite remember. I just bought them immediately. <laughs> I bought them too fast. So I, don't, I don't really remember. So your opinion on adding a permanent play mode like Popper or Singleton to Arena rather than the one-time events? Um, it's it's all about it's all about if they can keep like the interest in it. You know, like if you know, like people like for Popper, for example, you know, like people maybe want to play Popper for a little bit, but can they keep like year round interest of people playing Popper? Like, is, like, do people want to play, you know, like that kind of thing? Like, and then, you know, just all the, the maintenance it takes and everything to have a format in play. I'm not, I, I, I don't have the answers to that question right now. Like they're telling us the answer is it's, it's not worth it because they don't have it installed but I don't I don't have the answer to that question but that's that's really the the question like because you know like some people like people will say like whatever standard formats getting stale or something I I gotta imagine that if people are playing popper all the time that that's got to get kind of stale like there's the card pool is just so small in those kind of formats. I feel like they'll just get solved and people will be playing like the same popper deck kind of thing. You know, like that's that's what I feel like is what would happen with such a small card pool. I mean, it's, it's it has like there there are downsides, you know, like that you know, they have to be keep you know all the the man hours they need to keep up with it and everything even if it's just a free a free play mode and they do have to worry about is if it does get to like that kind of thing where everybody's playing like the same the same deck because it ends up being solved or whatever is that like just a negative experience that turns people off to playing arena again i don't i don't have the answers to any of those questions i don't i don't know the answers to those questions like those are just the i'm kind of telling you like why it why it may not be um a full-time format let's get mortify in instead of teferi i think that's all i'm going to do i'm just going to play mortify instead of teferi's Then of course if they have them at full yeah they have them full time also and they're just always available then they wouldn't really be able to use them as events so then they'd have to come up with something else for the for the events to try to give some give people the like, the opportunity to have like some fun kind of thing that's another downside is you just lose you lose that opportunity. Gutter bones. Um, I, yeah, I'm not sure if historic will have a ranked Q or not. I don't know. It's, it's the kind of thing where maybe it doesn't have a ranked Q immediately, but then it you know, turns into a rank queue later, you know, after a month or two, and people have, like, some time to play the format. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to see. I don't, th I don't think there's really much reason to worry about that right now. Or dwell on that. Well, the Battle of for Zendikar Full Art Lands are just exactly that. 
where the Ravnica and, and War of the Spark lands are like the actual card styles where they look like this. The the Battle for Zendikar ones are just like regular lands. Even if there's not a ranked queue for um, if there's not a ranked queue for historic, I, I certainly hope there's at least like the events like I'm playing here, like where you pay, you know just kinda like this, I guess you pay your thousand gold and uh, you know, get to play until you either win five or lose two kind of thing. Like I, I hope there's at least events for it if it if it's not if if not ranked at the very least otherwise i don't think people will play it too much if it's just a a free to free to play kind of format it's got to be at least at least have events Yeah, the anti-flash deck was kind of cool. We we struggled against aggro, of course, but it was built to beat flash and control. Like if you if you don't like losing to flash and control, that deck does a good job. I'm basically playing the thought razor here to make their mausoleum secrets not any good. I'm surprised they didn't get Gutter Bones, unless they don't have another Gutter Bones. I think that was the, the card to grab was Gutter Bones. Hey, what's up, 619? Birdie! Birdies. These things are so big. Back up to 20. Six, that is. All right, well, we played against two... Two not-so-good decks so far. And then lost to Esper, where they didn't let a sideboard. So hopefully have a, a nice good match here. <laughs> See what we got. Alright, I'll take it. Hey, Jarl Axel with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much there, Axel. Welcome to the channel. No, it's not a short stream today, I've had. Same same stream as always. Alright, turn one land war elf. Has never ever been beaten. Turn one land war off on the play. It's won a hundred percent of its matches. I'm making that number up, but I go to war over it. Let's get what are we what are we playing? What are we playing? What are we playing? Aerialist. Absolutely. I think uh Boros Feather can be playing main deck Gideon. Absolutely. Uh 
What does Feather struggle against anyway? I kind of feel like Feather struggles against Control. How do you submit a donation deck? Uh, you just need to, to follow the donate link down below in the in the info panel about donating, or the, the link is right here also. And it's just $20, and whenever you donate... Mm. Sorry, thinking. I'll play this thing, actually. Whenever you donate, just tell me what day you would like me to play your deck. Which slot, first, second, third, or fourth, and that's it. I guess you can tell me like any sleeves or avatar requests that you have. Beast. Big old beast. We'll be fine. There you go, yeah. Gideon and Johnny, those cards are awesome. Alright, hoping to draw land. Okay, got the land. The them having a Hellkai was not ideal though. I'd say that, that was certainly not ideal. Jose with a Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Everybody get your hype votes in there for our new subscriber. Thanks for the support there. <laughs> what a mess. All right, so if our opponent's blocked, we were going to be minusing minus four the Soren and bring Seraph back. Of course, they didn't block. So we got this. Yeah, I can't. I have to block both of these. So they just have removal for Imperial Ingo, though. Then this turns into a 4 5. Huh. I'm going to block this way. This is me taking 6. But I guess Lightning Strike. That kind of kills me. All right. Final answer. Jump blocking with the eagle. Having Seraph block this, the Hellkite.
No, I don't. I don't want the aerialist to die. If I I could block the have the aerialist block the phoenix, but then the aerialist would could die because of the hellkite ability, among other ways for it to die. I mean, they're dead. I, I shouldn't have played the bishop. I should just play the. I should just play thought razor. I was gonna go bishop seraph, but then I realized like a, right after right after I started casting the bishop, I was like, wait a minute, they're dead. I shouldn't have played the bishop. <clears throat> All right, grasp and mortify. In the time waster is out. And what else? Maybe just the spectral sailors out. Just being little one ones. Now bishop is good. Bishop can do some some blocking on the ground for us. Helps get us some other. <clears throat> like this is this is definitely a good matchup for bishop. Hey Kurtash. Oh right, that's true. They couldn't even cast lightning strike anyway because they had the null hideout. So they didn't even have mana to do anything. Kind of forgot about that. Okay, yeah, if you're going to buy uh, new sets of Arena, well, first, playing li limited, drafting, and sealed is a really good way to build up your collection. Um, it's also a very good way to get better at Magic. It's not, it can be kind of, a, it can be a little expensive, but, you know, like if you're losing, if you're losing it can be a little expensive, but it's it's on par with just buying packs, but it's a it's a really good way to get better, and if you are, if you're winning even a little bit, it's better than just buying packs. Obviously, it's time-consuming and stuff. So if you're somebody that just wants to be playing standard, um, you know, there's there's that also, because, you know, it takes takes a while to, to draft and play sealed. All right, with that being said... No, not you. Besides that, if you're just buying packs, the sets to focus on would be... Guilds of Ravnica and Ravnica Allegiance and War of the Spark. I think those those three sets are like the best sets to be buying. The first two have the dual lands in them, the shock lands. <clears throat> All right, this could be nice. Where War of the Spark just has tons and tons of really good cards. It was just a really high-powered set. So ideally, next turn, we'll draw another white source and we'll go Dub's Bishop. And then we play Resplendent Angel and gain 12 life. Basically, get back to our starting life total. I guess we have to do a chump block. Ugh. Two chump blocks? Could be bad. The better just to play Resplendent Angel now is what I'm kind of debating.
Alright, please no six land. Please no six land. Darn it. Yeah, Grill Chamber Guardian, by itself, single-handedly, wrecked us. We need to draw Lyra Dawnbringer. I mean, Lyra gains five. Actually, we're still dead if we play Lyra. We're just dead. We need Legion's End. Exile all of them. Or we need to be on the play and have that extra turn. Like that that exact same game if we're on the play we win, on the draw we lose kind of thing. That exact same game. So I wouldn't mind yeah, I wouldn't mind that exact same game playing out. Why didn't the Gruel deck work from earlier? The Gruel deck was was built to beat Flash. That's why it's called Anti-Flash. And Control. And we played against Control. We beat it. But then we played against an aggro deck. Like Vampires got, got steamrolled over. And Phoenix that had an incredible Game 3 hand. So like those... Um, sweet. Hey, Ivad with the... Donation deck. Thank you so much, Ived. I really appreciate that. Alright, so what day do you want me to play it? And... So, yeah, what day do you want me to play it? Ugh. So I play the eagle first, so they had removal spell, they would kill the eagle. I'm going angel here, though, so if we draw a black source, we can double spell. Every, I'm always, everything's always available. You just name your day and name your time slot, first, second, third, or fourth. Not, like, today's not, like, not, like, the same day, but any other day, like, whenever you donate. All right, finally, black mana. Maybe too late. We'll see. Scorn's good, but we also just need... Do need lands to start activating our Splendid Angel. Ooh, interesting. Makes sense. So that worked out pretty well for us. We get to kill this growth chamber guardian so they don't get more. Oh, I can't disparka also because we only have one black source. Blur. Oh, come on. 
after a fry. All right, so tomorrow, fourth slot. I got gotcha. you. I'll put you up there. Tomorrow, fourth. All right, so a lot rougher league than what we had the first time with the deck. So, yeah, the, the Time Raveler... Wasn't any good. But then also, honestly, Bishop of Wings just looked really... Just looked really bad. It was just a 2-mana 1-4. The gain 4 life wasn't really relevant too much. The 1-4 the body, like, our, you know, against, against the Esper deck just wasn't relevant at all. And against the Gruul deck, they just had bigger creatures. They just had a bunch of 4-4s and just ignored it. Small sample, though, it's just the two matches, but there was just two matches where the card looked really bad. Um, but, yeah, so it's, I don't really know, if, you know, like, exactly what, what I'd want to change with it, besides, besides just taking out Teferi for something else. I honestly could see, instead of playing Bishop of Wings, just playing more two-mana interaction. You know, cards like Legion's End, Cast Down, just another Dispark, um, different things like that. Maybe even Dovin's Vetoes. Maybe even just, like, main deck Dovin's Vetoes. They're good against basically everybody. And just things like that. Maybe just have, like, just all interaction kind of thing. I don't know. Maybe not. Aerialist wasn't that great for us. But small sample of just a couple of games here. You know, we, we played a you know, we played a longer league with this deck before and you know did better with it. Um I think if you wouldn't play Bishop, you probably wouldn't play Aerialist. And it's it's kinda like what are we doing at that point? Like our deck's just kinda changing a lot. Um Guard Mage? That's the... Okay, this card. Okay, never mind. Yeah, that card's good. Never mind. Yeah, that card's good. Yeah, this this card's really good. Honestly, this, this would be... This is probably going to be more impactful than, like, Shalai and stuff. Honestly, probably moving away from the Angel stuff. I kind of like that, because Shalai is not that great these days. This this is going to be a better card for us. I just like the three four body doesn't match up against anything, dies to like all sorts of removal and everything. Lyra Resplendent Angel can still win games on their own. I still like those cards, but I'm not and like Seraph is is certainly really good with the afterlife with these things. But yeah, that's that's a good idea. I like playing guard mages. And I wouldn't mind another Soren, but like Soren was always pretty good. Um yeah, that's that's a good idea. Getting that in there. Yeah, get ETB flyers. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, so there's Esper flyers. Uh, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, what white two drop do you think is better in the format? Tithe Taker. Yes, Tithe Taker is very good in this format. I like Tithe Taker a lot more than Bishop of Wings. And Tithe Taker has an afterlife also. Gets you, gets you another flyer that's pretty good with the Imperian Eagle. Yeah, I, I love Tithe Taker these days. Thief of Sod... The, yeah, Thief of Sanity instead of Aerialist. I could definitely see that. Thief of Sanity being bigger. And also, you know, you have, like, discard and removal to protect it. You have Soren that can bring it back. Yeah, I like Thief of Sanity there instead of Aerialist. I could definitely see that. Um, but there we go. So thank you so much for watching, uh, for watching it later on. And uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons on YouTube. And there we go. Uh, I will see you for the next video.
Take care.